Simplify with positive exponents. So the problem was negative 4 times x to the third times y cubed, and that's all to the second power, um, divided by 16x to the fifth times y to the first. The first thing we're going to do is focus on the 4 and the 16, which can reduce to 1 fourth. So now our problem is negative 1 x to the third times y to the third to the second power divided by 4 x to the fifth times y to the first. So now using the quotient rule, you can take the x's and go x to the third minus 5 equals x to the negative 2. So the problem rewritten now is negative x to the negative second power times y cubed to the second power divided by 4y to the first power. Now using the power rule which says x to m all to the power of n equals x to the m squared times n. So you can take the y to the cubed all to the second power which would equal y to 6 power because 3 times 2 equals 6. We can now use the quotient rule again for the y's and say y to 6 minus 1 power equals y to the 5th power. Since the problem said solve With positive exponents, we want to remove the negative 2. So we're going to move x to the negative second power down to the bottom, to the denominator. After the x is moved to the denominator, the solution is negative y to the fifth power divided by 4 times x squared.